Well, it's Tuesday and that normally means it's Donkey Chat Tuesday, but we've got a different situation on our hands this morning. And, um... <laughs> I was going to talk to Alfie, but... He's gone. Alf, you know, I appreciate you not feeling very well. Um, we were only going to have a conversation, that's all. We were just going to have a little chat. It's a bit, um, it was a bit rude. You just walked off. Alfie. No? Come here, little man. Come here. Alfie. How are you feeling, mate? Not happy, are you? Not happy boy right now. So we're just waiting for the animal ambulance to come and get him. And then um, he's got to go into hospital because um, if you can see, his rumen, we believe, is blocked. And he's been quite under the weather for a while and um, so he's been to the vets, he's had x-rays, that didn't work. He's had ultrasound, that didn't work to identify the problem. We then located a, um, a, a sheep specialist and he identified that it's either a blockage or a twist. Um, but if it was a twist, he would be dead already. So it's every, all the symptoms are showing that he's got a blockage in the rumen. So he's had a good few days of uh, paraffin oil um, drink to try and break down whatever the blockage is and to help it pass um, that hasn't worked he's had um, regular injections of um, of, a, of a drug to that's designed to start the room and to, to um, get it going um, that doesn't seem to be working either so um, they, he looked a little bit brighter this morning and uh, he had um, some fresh poop in his stall and he uh, was starting to drink again, but he's not eating. Um, so as you can see, he's kind of, I mean, he's all right. I mean, he's walking around, and but he's not right. Do you know what I mean? He's not, he's not 100%. So we think um, he's going to have to have surgery because the problem is there could be a build-up within the intestines or, or within the stomach and that could cause it to um, rupture, which obviously would be incredibly painful. He seems like he's not in too much pain at the moment, um, but yeah, I think it's now, we've done everything we can, we've exhausted all the avenues, so it's time for hospital. So we're just waiting for the ambulance to arrive, so and that could be a while because it's got to come from Valencia, which is over two hours away. And then they're going to take him to the hospital for the surgery. We'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm.